Um, so in constructing index is actually pretty straightforward. It's mainly a question of performance issues to get it built properly. And you just obviously assign little integers to every document and every term. These are the labels of the rows and columns of this matrix we discussed. And we just create a list of um, triplets, term ID, document ID, and term frequency with the attached um, location and other types of information we may want to keep. Then we have to sort this uh, list initially on term ID. That will allow us to take all these doc ID, term, term frequency, location for a particular term ID and associate all the all the term ID um, triplets, or triplets for the same term ID um, together. And this is transposition, because you start off with a document, uh, with, a, a, with something arranged by document, and you want something arranged by term. And that's um, yet another simple example here. Uh, we have six, um, six documents, we have 10 terms in those documents after we do all our all our reduction to normal forms of so these ten these are the ten index terms and then we form uh, these are the uh, um, these are the six documents that's this matrix here's the six documents here's the uh, ten terms you start off being arranged by documents so you have everything for document one then two three four five six but actually you want it arranged by words. You want all the stuff for word one, then word two, then word three, and so on. And that's what um, that's sort of illustrated here. This is really quite straightforward. So as I already have mentioned, this is actually sort of trivial um, because sorting is incredibly well understood, and uh, the only issue is scalability and size. And that's what you'd expect for big data. Um, and so we have to essentially go back to the traditional computer science literature and find out how to do sorting. And um, there are various, um, there's lots of work in this area. And um, we have to do clever um, compression, because it's important not to, to minimize disk access. And one possible, um, approach, which is pretty natural, is to do merge-based sorts, which is that you take a part of the sample, you, you do it, um, you, you form the inverted index for that, that sample, then you do another sample, and then you have two um, completely sorted lists, which are now sorted by documents. And then you know that merging is actually more efficient than sorting, so you can merge those two documents into a single list. And that can all be done in some very fast, well, well understood fashion. So, and of course, again, it's all performance. So you need to, you need, uh, because of the size of the data and the number of users all demanding Tenth of a second response, you have to use replication to get a, enough uh, servers to be able to respond to all users. You have to distribute the data in an intelligent fashion. And um, there is no, I don't think there's much rocket science here. It all, and it all depends on the current size of your disk, the current size of your problem. And uh, there are all sorts of obvious caching type methods, then you keep things stored. So um, in the on in the memory, which are the responses to very common queries and things like that, and um, as we've noted already, data compression is very important. We want to get as much as possible into memory, so we um, compress the data to make to get it uh, to get it in memory. Uh, an important feature uh, of this problem is uh, the fact it's dynamic. The web is changing every day, and you need to be able to change the index to reflect that. And you do not remake the index for every every time a website changes. You don't remake that index. Uh, rather, you um, that's just too inefficient. Rather, you um, 
you can do it in, in several ways. The most obvious is to um, have a basic index, and then you have a new index, a second index, which is all the new data. And uh, you find things first in the new data. You invalidate things in the old data based on the new data. But then you add the non-invalidated, which is the dominant part of the information from the old data. Then when the auxiliary index, the index of new data gets too big, you merge it with the main index.